I'm just making a quick short video on uh, how to put the, the fast flags in. I, I think I didn't put it properly in the last video. So this is how you do it. So you want to go to the, you know, the video and then you can go to the description. Take this from here or in the comments. I'll just take it from the comments. So oh, you want to try to drag your mouse over it like this. Then you can right click to copy it or you can press Control C. Same over here. So you can just copy this. Let's just do that. Then you open your block strap and you want to go to import JSON. Here is where you can just control V to paste it or just paste and you press on OK. Basically, it'll put in everything at once and I already have them here. So like it'll try to override them, but for you, it'll just add them in. For you, it'll look, it'll look like empty. So there'll be nothing here. And yeah, I have a few extra flags which I I think they're cool, but like I'm I'm not adding them in the video because um, they're a bit experimental. However, you could add this one: D F flag debug pause voxelizer. What this does it it basically disables shadows completely. That's what it does. And if you wanna know how, like uh, if you you have to set it to true. I, set it to, I have set it to false so that it doesn't work and this is what it looks like when it sets to false when the shadows are on so as you can see there are shadows there's lighting and because it's set to two graphics the lighting range is really short it looks a bit weird but it's kind of needed because in arc and odyssey uh vtex has some effects where like it turns the lighting to completely dark and you need the lighting like you need the lights for it to like see through like for example in the cave in uh shell island you need that there and this is what lighting looks like i mean shadows look like when you have it disabled so it may look fine in the daytime but during the night it's like none of the lights will work so use this if you really want to use it uh, I personally I don't I'm not gonna use it cuz Arkham Odyssey does use a lot like it's like it's it uses its lighting on purpose and it's not like uh, it's just a side thing it does use its lighting for features like seeing in the darkened places or when you have insanity so I suggest not use it, but if you really want to get that slight bit of more FPS, you can use it. Another thing I did is I've added one flag to the video, which is this F flag disable post effects. So it's true. Basically, what that does is it disables all like extra like features like glare from the sun or glare from lighting. It removes that and it gives you like I don't know, like a few frames extra, and I've changed the texture. Oh, why is it? Let me just do that. I've changed the quality, the texture quality override from three to two. As after I did some testing, two is I think the best because it's you, you. When you saw the video, when you saw the when I'm in the game, you didn't notice it. It was low quality. But it actually does give a pretty decent FPS boost. It doesn't have much of a difference and it gives a big FPS boost. So I think a two is the greatest one to put it. One, it does make the game look way lower quality and zero makes it the worst looking and it just ruins every other Roblox game. So it's just not using that. So two, I think overall is really good. And if you set it to three, basically what it does is it sets it to three at all times. So everything will be set to three. So, I think it's better if it's if it does that. So, if you want to set it to 3, if you want it to have the highest quality, I think it's better to just delete it. Like, keep it like this. So, you let Roblox have it be automatic. But, if you set it to 2, it'll make everything too, like level, like, level 2 quality. So, I think that's the best one for FPS increasing. And that's it. That's it for this video. I just wanted to make a short video on... Uh, some problems I have in that video. Okay, bye.